like to welcome the Prime Minister back from his $80,000 vacation, which he got for free. He said, like most Canadians, friends welcomed him for that vacation. He took two, not one, but two private jets paid for by the taxpayer, uh, burning 100 tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. He wants to tax the heat and the food of Canadians. Did he pay the full carbon tax on each of the 100 tons of emissions that he put into the atmosphere as part of his $80,000 vacation? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the Conservative leader has simply no plan to address climate change in this country, no plan to increase the resilience of our communities in the fight against climate change. Warming climate causes droughts. Droughts damage crops. Damage crops increase the food of the cost of groceries. And yet, the Conservative Party cannot even agree on whether or not climate change is real. The, honor the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, he says the greenhouse gas emissions are driving up grocery prices. He put 100 tons of those emissions in the atmosphere for his personal vacation. This is high tax, high flying high carbon hypocrisy. Yep. Yep. Meanwhile, Canadians in Edmonton are facing were facing minus 50 degree temperatures on which they were paying carbon taxes just to, to heat their homes and stay alive. Given that he gives himself a free vacation at other people's expense, will he at least allow Canadians to heat their homes without his tax? Yeah, yeah. The right honorable